Hey artists, today we are going to try to make some name art. It's fun to do at the beginning of the year because we get to write our names, other people get to know us a little bit better, and it's just kind of a fun project. One thing that's going to be part of this project is we're going to be using symmetry, where everything on one side of our paper is the same as on the other side. We write our name and then we write the reflection of our name, and then we turn it into some creatures. You can make one creature or monster, or you can do like I did on this one and make several little creatures. So what we're going to do today is get you started and let you be creative. So the first thing we want to do is fold our paper in half the hot dog long way. And then we open it up and you're going to write your name nice and big across your paper. And I know it's backwards on here because of the way the camera is. but. I write my name across here and then the next thing I'm going to do is kind of move this camera down so you can see what I'm doing okay so then I have to make sure I pushed hard enough and what I'm gonna do is fold it and I'm gonna take the end of my marker and just kind of push over where I wrote my name and this is going to push that pencil mark onto the other side. You can kind of just rub it along there. And if you find that it's not working, you can always go back and draw a little bit darker across your name. But the point is we're going to get that mirror image of our name onto the other side. All right, I don't know if you can see, but like my lines are coming through. And now I can go and trace it over. So I have my name written on both sides in the same way. So I can kind of see this is here. So I'm gonna trace over it. Now I can see my E didn't go very good, so I can go back on top of here, push a little bit harder, get a little more pencil on that. And then when I close it, I rub over it. There, my line came through a lot easier to see. And I'm just going to trace over that. And trace over this. mirror image of my name on both sides it's the same so the next step is we're gonna go ahead and get out our markers and you can choose whatever color you want and you can think about what you want to turn this into I kind of look at it and I think okay if I wanted to make one monster or creature what would I do I could maybe put some eyes here or actually this could be some crazy wild hair and two eyes and I could put a mouth and hands and make like a creature or I could do it this way and maybe make this the face put some eyes and a mouth here so you get to be really creative with it you can turn it into one creature or you can turn it into a few different creatures so I think I like that first idea and so what I'm going to do, and I want to make sure you guys can see, my camera skills are not the best. So here's my paper, and I'm going to get out my markers and kind of go around this. So I think I'm going to make this like my ease kind of crazy hair. So I trace around my line with marker. And anything I do to this side, I want to do to this side. So if I'm going to make this some crazy wild hair, I'm just going to put some crazy lines here. Get out of here, marker. And I'm going to make some crazy wild hair. Maybe some crazy wild hair over here. And I want them to kind of match up. And maybe this will be more like bangs, so I'll have the hair come straight down. Wild monster hair. All the way across. 
Okay. So if this is the crazy hair that I've drawn, maybe a little darker. Then I can start working on the eyes. And so you can use your markers and your crayons. And go like this. All right. The way that the D in my name looks, it almost looks like angry eyes. And so I can put the eyes in here. And I want to try to make it the same on both sides. And then I can use my crayons and kind of color them. And so you can just get really creative with whatever you are designing or what creature you think would be fun. I could give him some crazy eyebrows. Make him a little more surprised. And then I can take this. I don't know what I'm going to do with these E's, but I trace over it with my marker first. Making sure it's the same on both sides. Hmm, I might turn this into a nose. It almost looks like a cat nose to me. So I can color in here and make that the nose. And then, oh yeah, I could take my black and kind of turn this into a little cat mouth. And my creature is starting to look really crazy with my L here. I can make some little whisker dots. Anything I do on that side, I want to do on this side. And I can give him some whiskers. And then maybe I can make the ends like his collar. So I can grab another color. Oh yeah, some green. Go over this. And these are just really fun because you get to take something that you weren't quite sure what it was going to be and turn it into something else. I don't know if you saw, but before this on um, online, I have another place you can click that has the book ish and it shows an artist who's having trouble with their art and they're like, oh, it doesn't look like exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's only ish. But you'll see um, how that artist is able to take things and kind of take that mistake and turn it into something awesome. And I feel like that's what's fun with our names here, is we can really take something and start turning it into something else. So you can see my name here, and then you can see it's turning into this really crazy creature. So I'm going to go ahead and keep coloring. And I would love for you to be working too. You can pause the video if you need to. And we're going to go ahead and go over the A in my name. I think it's important to make sure when you do write your name, you put it really close together. That way when, they, when we fold it and put it on the other side, it gives us a cool shape. And my N. All right. And now I might make this a little kitty collar. I might put like a little tag in the middle. And then I can color the little collar in. maybe decorate it with some polka dots. I remember I want to do everything the same on this side that I do on that side. This almost looks like little feet. I was adding my cat feet to my video and I stopped but I was going to show you at the end what it ended up looking like, my crazy creature. And then I was also going to show you the other one that I did again and that one was 
kind of multiple creatures. I put some butterflies at the top, put a little face in the middle. I had some fish down here and a little mouse and a snake and a sloth. So you can get really creative with these. You wanna just make sure that you do everything the same on both sides of your paper to keep that symmetry. And you can use your markers, you can use your colored pencils, you can use your crayons. I like to see us using more than one um, medium on these. And so then once you're done, I want you to take a picture of it and put it up online so I can see it and we'll share out. And I'm really excited to see what you make. All right, happy creating.